Hey everyone, it's day 93 of Train It Gain. I hope you're all well. It's Sunday. Um, I have waved my little boy off today on a four day trip for school. Oh my God, how did he get to nine years old nearly? It's so scary. And he was like, mommy, don't kiss me. <laughs> um, oh, it was so weird. Um, so, but I didn't turn to emotionally think, which is good at that moment. Um, what can I tell you? On the training side, I decided this morning I was going to do a run again. So I probably should have started weights again because I'm extending by a week. Um, but it was such a beautiful morning that I just really fancied a run. So I went out, did that, came back and did some abs in the garage. And then I did the Sally Up push-up challenge. Oh my God, how hard is that? It was a real test. And um, I always think I'm all right at push-ups, but I really struggled. So that's a great challenge. And I'm going to try and improve on that as the week goes on. Um, on the food side, all good. Um, I was saying to the girls in the chat room last night that I'm starting to find the macro tracking slightly tedious, I have to say. I think... You know, there's so many benefits to each of the plans and you look at the body coach plan and everything's worked out for you, but people complain about weighing all the food. And then you look at training gain and you can eat whatever you want in using these 80-20 principles, but you have to work out what it is that you're going to eat within your macros. And they've taught me how to do that step by step. And that education has been amazing. Can't fault it. But the process of continually tracking macros is really tedious. Um, so I like the fact that they say that longer term, you don't actually have to do that. So uh, I'll look forward to the day when that is the case. <laughs> um, I'm reflecting a lot on, on Train It Gain and I'm going to share those reflections over the coming week in terms of what I've thought about it. Um, I guess on the mindset side, uh, I had a lovely message to wake up to this morning, this time on YouTube from a lady called Susan, um, who's decided that I am boasting a lot about my fitness and my lifestyle and what I've achieved and that she's very disappointed. Um, well, I'm not disappointed is the first thing in me. I think I've done a really good job actually and that's why I celebrate it but I guess that's what my mindset topic is all about is the fact that actually if you roll back 18 months Angela Cox would never have been standing here celebrating the fact that she was doing really well with fitness or doing really well with her eating or doing really well with just feeling good about herself actually so the fact that I can do that and that is seen as boasting, that's a win for me because that's a first. That means that all this self-love that I've been practicing is working. And what's even more interesting is the vlog that you decided to make the comment on was one that actually I'd said that yesterday I was struggling because I'd gotten the sad step and the sad step had said that I put four pounds on. But... Because I am trying desperately in every situation to see the bright side in everything, I was able to reframe those four pounds on the scales into a positive in terms of I knew I hadn't cheated, I knew I'd followed the plan, I knew I'd done all of my training and therefore it was a blip. I'd reframed it. And that's what I would encourage every single person watching this to do is whatever situation you're in, however you're feeling, there will be a bright side. There will be a lesson. There will be an upside. There will be something to feel positive about if you can just reframe it. So my situation this morning with that lady telling me that I was boasting and she was disappointed in me, I've reframed that into a win-win because if I can boast about what I've achieved, that means I've achieved it. And that for me is a massive thumbs up. So go forth and find the bright side and find the silver lining in every cloud because that is what I intend to be in everybody's life going forward. And if you don't think that, stop watching. 
Have a wonderful evening and I will speak to you all tomorrow.